Hi guys, welcome back to Memory Keeping Monday. This is Shannon Tidwell, Garden Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket, and this week it's my turn to share a little project with you and do this fun video. So, um, as you know, today is the last day of April, so our theme is still, um, one of the themes is still florals, so that's what I'm going to do with my project this week. Um, since I had started working on my workshop, I've been looking around me and looking at inspiration a lot more than I had in the past, and um, this little bow that my daughter wears caught my eye, and actually I wanted to make some more for her and thought I could do it, I didn't need to buy any that I could make them for her. So I started with that intention, and then once I made one, I thought, well heck, that would be cute on a layout. And once I made one, I thought, well, wouldn't 10 or 15 be cute on a layout too? So that's what I'm going to do today. I made these cute little um, flowers out of tulle. And maybe they would be called poppies or something like that. Um, but they're really simple to do, super easy. And so first I'm going to show you how I made these. And then we will work on putting the layout together and finishing the layout up. So the first thing I did was I just used some tool like this, just um, like on a spool. And I use this a lot for gift wrapping because it's very inexpensive and can um, dress up a package really easily. So I just cut a length, I mean that's probably about two feet probably, doesn't have to be exact. And then I just folded it up and just keep folding and folding. So the smaller you fold it, the smaller you can cut your flowers. And then I just kind of roll it up from there. And it's fine that there's extra sticking down around the edge, that's fine, it's all going to be cut off. So now I have this little square here and it's probably about one and a half by one and a half, maybe it's a little rectangle so a little off of that, but it'll be fine. So what I'm going to do, at this point, you could hand stitch it, you could put a brad in the middle of it, um, I just stick it under the sewing machine because that's easy and that way I know it's good and secure. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. So now once I've got it sewn, I'm just going to snip off some of this extra. And then I'm going to just use scissors, and I like to use, you want to use some pretty strong and sharp scissors, and these are the Tim Holtz ones by Tonic, and they work really well. I, I, first I started with some smaller scissors, and they were, it was a little hard to cut through all these layers. So now what you're going to do is just cut it into a circle. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Because with all the layers and stuff, it's going to have enough personality that it doesn't need to be perfect. And then, like, if you've got some shorter layers in there, I just stick my scissors in there into the middle to cut them up. And then you're just going to kind of ruffle it up, give it some twists, like that. And then if you've got some pieces that stick out, you know, that were just kind of half pieces, you can just trim those right off. So now at this point, you could stitch this on to a headband or glue it on to a little barrette or something like that. It'd be really cute. Maybe put a little jewel or something here in the middle. So um, you can see how simple that was to make. I mean, it took maybe a minute, maybe. So what I did, once I did one of them and saw how easy it was, I decided to go a little bit crazy and make a whole bunch because I thought it would make a really cute border on this layout underneath my photo. You can see here that I've started with this diagonal stripe in the gray by Studio Calico, as well as this yellow diagonal stripe, also by Studio Calico. And you can, I like how they contrast, first of all, the color, and I like that um, they're both diagonal stripes, and you might not think about using diagonal stripes together, but with this line being skinnier, and with it being such a bright color, and then such a neutral color, and then I also turned it so that the stripes are going to be going different directions. So I felt like that gave it enough contrast to, to use them together, and I really like the look together. 
So you can see here that I've already stitched around this one. So this piece I cut down to 10 by 10. And what I like to do whenever I'm layering pieces onto a layout and I'm going to do machine stitching, I like to do the machine stitching on the piece before I actually glue it down. Because sure, I could have gone ahead and stuck it down and then done the stitching, but then if something goofs up or you know my stitching doesn't work out right or I change my mind later, it's, it's hard to go back and fix it and I've, I've used up those both those sheets of paper that I wanted to use. So I like to do the stitching on the piece before I put it down. And, um, and then, you know, if I want to go back and add some little detailing, stitching around something, you know, I can go back and do that later. But um, that's my little machine stitching trick for the day if you're someone like me who's not the best sewer but um, likes to use it on your pages. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this layout together, and I've kind of got the idea of how I want all my little tool flowers to go in a bunch down here under the pictures. And then I've also cut a bunch of these little flags from the new Amy Tangerine um, sketchbook papers. I believe I used the 6x6 pad for these, but you could use the regular papers too. But And I just cut a bunch of these little flags, and I'm kind of visualizing them going around the edge at least the top portion here. So we'll see how that looks and I'm going to put that together and then from there I'm just going to need to figure out my title and maybe just a couple small little embellishments since I'm going to have this great big thing going on here with the flowers it's not going to need a whole bunch of other stuff maybe just some tiny little details to finish it off and make it look finished. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and you guys can hang around and watch it come together. Okay, I've got my border of tulle flowers finished here, and you can see that I just use my regular um, glue that I use for my paper to stick them down, and it seems to be working good because when I pull them off, I mean, I'm really having to pull the flower off the page. If it ends up not working, then I might just squeeze some liquid glue down in there to help hold it, but for now, it's going to hold. I'm going to see if that works without having to get messy with the liquid glue. Um, and you can see here that I left mine really messy. I left the strings hanging on them because that was kind of the look I was going for because so I left the strings hanging on this. And I'll trim those down a little bit probably, but just kind of the look I wanted to go for was just kind of messy and, um, you know, the scraggly strings everywhere. So if you could do yours neater or put some jewels in them or dress them up differently, but that's how I'm going to leave mine for now. So we'll see. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on the border around the page. And you can see that I already adhered this piece down, but I just put the adhesive kind of in the middle so that I still had leeway with around the edges to put stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing with that and start getting these adhered down. Okay, so now I've got the little flags all around, and I just did it on the top portion, I think, for now. Because um, I think I've got all this going on down here. I don't want to 
bring more down here. I'm just going to leave them up there. Um, so now what I want to do is concentrate on the title. And I've stuck this little thing. This is um, an Amy Tangerine little die cut from the sketchbook line as well. And so I want my title, I think, to be up in here, but I need something to kind of base it on. So I'm going to just kind of slide this, I think, behind the photo. And I've got a couple different um, thickers that I'm going to use, I think. I found some pink glittery ones in my stash. And then these shiny silver ones I think are cool. So I'm going to work with those a little bit um, and see if I can get those placed how I like them here for my title. And then um, I'll just need to do my journaling and maybe a couple other little embellishments. So I'll get started on the title. Okay, so I've about got the title situated. I need to adhere some of these down since they're a little older stickers, they're not sticking as well. But I needed something to write my journaling on and then I kind of wanted something else to add in here with the title. So what I did is I just took a piece of um, packaging. This is just from um, a KI product that has a little grid on it, a light grid. And I like using those for journaling pieces. So then I, I cut it at a, um, in a, to a flag shape about two and a half inches wide and then placed it on here. And, and then I cut it kind of at an angle because I didn't want it to be straight on the page. I want it to be kind of cockeyed like the, the pink fish is. So um, I went ahead and did the stitching around it before I'm gonna adhere it down. And I'm gonna write my journaling and stuff on it. And you can see I kind of overlapped the title onto it just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my journaling and then get this all stuck down and then add in a couple more embellishments. Okay, I've pretty much got this finished up, I believe. Um, you can see here that I adhered down my um, journaling tag here, and I needed just something up here. I wanted something sticking out, and I tried a bigger tag at first and then didn't like that. So I decided just to keep with the smaller little tags that I'd cut and added some of those in. Um, and then you can see here, down here, I added in some sequins. I kind of wanted to carry the silver from the title, I needed something, I wanted to tie that in somewhere. So what I did was just sprinkle sequins around and I kind of put a lot of adhesive right here and sprinkled them in there, kind of like they'd fallen and gotten caught there in those flowers. And then just did a few dots here and there around and, and sprinkled them on there so they kind of look like some of them are dropping down to the bottom of the page. And then I added in a couple little flags by Bella Boulevard. I mean, they just poke right into the tool so they're easy to move around and get situated where you want them. Um, so that pretty much finishes up the layout. So thanks for hanging out with me for this Memory Keeping Monday. I hope you enjoyed this layout and I hope that you will participate in the challenge of putting, making a page and putting a flower of some sort on it, whether you make it out of fabric, ribbon, tape, tool like I did, or, or paper. Um, just see what you can come up with and try to do something creative on your page. So um, have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.